Hello everyone, it's Farkad here. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to raise strength and athleticism. I'm mainly going to address normal and hard mode. Hard survival has calories and weight and is a little bit more confusing. My season three playthrough is completely current. They haven't changed anything. So it's still good. If you've been watching my playthrough, season one and two is outdated with raising strength, though athleticism is still good. So let's get into it. I'm going to cover strength first to prevent confusion. So what does strength do? Strength increases the damage you do with all melee weapons. The lowest strength you can have is 10, and the highest is 99, and your starting strength is 20. Here is a table of how much damage each weapon does, with its different upgrades and different strength, at 20 and 99. As you can see, the damage difference can be quite substantial. You will do a lot more with more strength. Here is a table of how much extra damage you do based on your strength. It's essentially bonus damage. The max you can get is 70.71% extra damage from strength. There's a calculator on the wiki as well. I've been getting a lot of help with the wiki. Thanks Dirty for making this one. In this video here, I actually raise strength by standing still and swinging the bone. Now the box on the right, I'm gonna make it bigger so you can see it. If you're wondering how to turn this box on, in the main menu, type in developer mode on. Then once you get into the game, press F3. It just gives you an indicator of what your strength and athleticism is at. And as you can see, Strength goes up every time I swing my weapon. Strength updates every second, and it can only be gained by swinging your weapon, even at anything. Thin air, stick trees, normal trees, etc. You can't lose strength in normal and hard mode. Each swing you take raises your strength by 0.0047, so it is quite a lengthy process. You can gain a maximum of two strength per day, though this can be overridden by saving and exiting. So to raise your strength by two, you need to swing your weapon 427 times in one day. There are multiple ways to do that, and this is very dependent on how much stamina the weapon is using. Now, I've always advocated for the bone because it uses three stamina per swing, and it swings very fast. Because of its low stamina usage, you can actually stand there or even walk around swinging it nonstop. You won't actually run out of stamina. Now, how I'm swinging my weapon nonstop is I'm using a macro key. I use Logitech software, and I assign a G key that just swings my weapon non-stop. Here's a picture of it here, how I've set it up. It's very simple to do. It's not just Logitech that could do this. You could do this with any keyboard or mouse software just about. Though if you have a basic mouse and keyboard, you might have to use Auto KMS. And I don't know anything about that, so I can't help you. Sorry. I'm going to fast forward it. Once my strength is raised by two, it will no longer go up. Though if I go and save and exit, which I'm going to do, and then return to it, I can start raising strength again. I'm not sure if this is an oversight by the developers, though this is still currently working. Though standing still and doing it is a bit of a lazy man's way, or lazy woman's way, what you can do is just go around knocking down stick trees. Using a bone is gonna take a long time, but you're gonna get a lot of leaves. So if you like leaf pile traps, you're gonna get a lot of use out of this. The more damage a weapon does, the quicker it's gonna take down a stick tree. Though it's not just limited to standing still and swinging a weapon or cutting down stick trees, you could also do it by fighting, cutting down trees yourself, or chasing down animals and swinging at them. You just need to find your preference. Now, as mentioned, it takes 427 swings with a bone to raise your strength by two. And this takes approximately four minutes and 10 seconds if you're doing it non-stop. And there's 36 minutes in a game day. So if you do it right from the start, you could raise your strength by 14 to 16 in one day if you're very efficient and you have a lot of spare time. If you wanted to say get 15 strength in one day, you will need to swing your weapon 3,192 times. That is a lot, though 15 strength will be the benefit. Now in the console command box, it does say that I'm losing strength, but you can't on normal and hard mode. You definitely can on hard survival. Using the repair hammer doesn't raise strength. It uses no stamina, but your strength won't rise. There is no console command for raising strength. Though if you use mod API in the alternate cheat menu, you can. If you're looking for a safe place to do it, if you want to exploit it and just swing your weapon standing still, try a cave, the yacht, or somewhere else. Don't stand in the open field, especially if you go away from keyboard. For normal and hard mode, you don't have to worry about calories or weight. You just have to play as normal. Eat whenever, drink whenever, gain energy wherever. If you're looking to get more energy, use a cassette player, sit on a bench or chair, or use energy mixes. They're very good. Also, sodas are good. I forgot that one. Even if you like using ranged weapons, like the bow instead of fighting melee, it can be a good idea to keep strength up because fighting with ranged weapons is gonna get boring eventually. And it's the same with fighting with melee weapons, it's gonna get boring as well. 
though the game has a much bigger focus on melee combat, so the mechanics for it are a lot better. Trying to get headshots is still a pain in the ass. Now, when the day updates your strength for when you can raise it again, so you can raise by two, and if you save an exit, you can do it again. Though if you want to do it normally, just by two per day, when the timer resets is when the sun appears. You can see this bright light out on the horizon, and then it will disappear. As soon as it disappears, that's the exact time that your strength will reset. So you can start raising again. If you sleep at night, you will always wake up at the same time every morning. And that is after your stats have reset. So you'll be able to wake up and get back to it. However you raise your strength, it is up to the individual. If you want to just stand there and swing your weapon, you can. If you want to do it getting stick trees, you can. Do it however suits you. Personally, I do a mix. Because sometimes knocking down stick trees nonstop is really, really boring. Moving on to athleticism. And what does athleticism do? Athleticism increases the rate that stamina replenishes, allowing you to perform more actions before running out of stamina. It also increases how much breath you have while swimming underwater. As of version 1.0, the full release, athleticism also increases your sprint speed, so you can run a lot faster. I did some tests with athleticism at zero and at 99. I created a path and a straight line and decided to do some running tests. I tested how long it took to run out of stamina with both and how fast both were. With zero athleticism, I ran out of stamina in 13.1 seconds, and I also covered that distance in that time. Comparing that to 99 athleticism, I was able to do it in 10.07 seconds, and I only used 40% of my stamina. The stamina benefits of having 99 athleticism appear to be about a 60% increase. I kept running with 99 athleticism to see how long it would take to run out, and I lasted about 27 seconds. 27 seconds versus 10 seconds. I did stop at one stage to turn around. I got to the end of the footpath and I was like, what do I do? So I turned around and went back the other way. Based on the estimation of how much faster that is, and I'm terrible with math, I believe 99 athleticism will increase your movement speed by about 30%. Though I have a feeling it's higher than that. If you know the actual difference in those numbers, let me know, I can't work it out. Even in hard survival, it is not possible to lower athleticism. It is raised by sprinting or by being underwater without a rebreather. Sprinting is self-explanatory. You just run around. It is a slow way of raising it. Though when underwater, you do not need to be moving around. You only need to be able to see the breathe meter. One hour and 36 minutes of sprinting equals one athleticism or 10 on the stats page. And 25 minutes of diving equals one athleticism or 10 on the stat page. And if you want to see what your values truly are, use console commands and press F3. It's the easiest way. It is the only way. Even mods don't show you this stuff. Sprinting and diving are not added together when raising athleticism. You can see this in the box here. It's got its own separate values. Whilst athleticism is measured in 0 to 99 in the stats page of your book, this isn't accurate of how much athleticism you actually have. This was changed a few patches ago to make it easy to see how you're gaining your athleticism. It used to be between 0 and 10, and it actually still is. For example, you need to spend 1 hour and 36 minutes sprinting to gain any benefit from athleticism. It can say 15 in your book, but you might not be receiving any benefits from it because the values could be spread evenly between the diving and sprinting. Essentially, if you're gonna raise it, stick to one method of raising it to prevent complication. If you're looking for more information on raising strength and athleticism, I recommend you try out the Forest app. It uses Open As app, which converts spreadsheets into apps. It's completely free, you don't have to sign in or anything. And it's also got some helpful stuff in there like how to make stews, how to craft weapons, etc. Can be good to have on your phone while you're playing the game. And it's also good for planning how much strength you wanna get. You'll figure out how many times you've got to swing your weapon to achieve the strength you want. I may do another video focusing on hunt survival. It is much more complicated. I actually wrote out a script, but it's so long. Our normal and hard is much easier. Though like I said, if you've been following my hard survival playthrough on season three, you will know what to do. Anyway, that's it. After the recent update, making athleticism increase movement speed, I actually prefer athleticism over strength now. Though let me know in the comments what you prefer, strength or athleticism. And if you like this video, make sure you like and subscribe. Cheers.